Hello everyone, it's Laurel here from Forever Purple Creations and I am finally here to share my attache from Tracy Fox's um, teachable class. Um, I know I thought I would be like one of the first people done and I started it quite a while ago and then of course summer got away with me and I got really sick and I was sick, I'm still sick but it's been going on for over a month so um and then cam going to school and work starting and everything else so it's just been really crazy so i finally finished it i sat last weekend and finished working on it and the other day i finished the dangle so i am here to share it with you um you're going to see a lot of papers in here the one that comes with the kit is the nature snippets but you are going to see um i have like over 41 of her digital kits so I tend to pull bits and pieces just from all different ones I'm not going to remember what the names of all of them are but that is one of the reasons I love her kits is that they are so interchangeable and you can just mix and match a whole bunch of them together which is what I tend to do with them a lot and that's why I love so this is mainly themed with um butterflies and bugs and then botanicals which is the flowers and everything so you're going to see a little bit of both in here <coughs> um i also changed it up a little bit added a few different things to it to make it my own because that's just what i like to do and i start out really strong and get going and then i start getting into everything um like the wood glue which is here on all of these and these and you're going to see it all over the tags and all over different elements and stuff in inside here so that took some time because i kept getting sidetracked and playing with the wood glue so um i just like a lot of detail in all of my stuff and it tends to take me a while to do things so i'm very excited to finally be on here and um show this to you so let's get started um again i will put all her links below her youtube her etsy where i believe you can um, purchase the teachable um it is so easy to follow it is such an amazing um teachable that she created uh if you haven't gotten it you should get it because this was so much fun to make and um her digis and all of her stuff just inspire me and gets me going and i've made quite a few things with her digis and i have a few going at the moment as always you know that i've started and need to finish so uh thank you so much tracy for creating this i had so much fun making this i hope you like it and i hope everybody else likes it as well and hopefully it'll inspire you to maybe go get it and and try it because it is a lot of fun as you can see mine is very thick it didn't start out this way but you guys know me more is more i don't know the more is less i know more is more so um you're gonna you're gonna see because look how big it is so uh i will show you the differences as i go and i know if any of you saw tracy's video she ran through her finished one and you'll see where the differences come in and i'll explain them to you as i go so all of these are um butterflies from this paper and then i put two pieces together and covered them distressed them and covered them with wood glue so they are very sturdy and they are all on with um brads so uh i'm very uh what's the word i want to use i'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to how my things are held together and so that they stay together um I'm just very picky about how things are put together so my cover is done with paper and then it's backed with um fabric so uh let's get to it so this opens like this and it opens like tracy's did like this and i will show you all the insides and my papers and everything that i used and then this is the front this is where one of the differences comes in on mine i just felt like i needed to add a little more to it I also have a thing with sides kind of being the same on certain things so that's why these sides kind of match um there is a little dangle here with a beautiful bee and i did color the bee with um a brown and yellow alcohol inks 
just to give it some color to kind of match the papers and it just kind of hangs right there and you untie this side here and then this opens and this is how the regular one would be where you would just decorate the front and you would your class would be right here but I wanted mine to have a little bit more so in the center I have put a little pocket made with this beautiful um, lace trim and added two of her tags and I believe these are from Vivid Nature one of her first kits that I bought and then um, just added a few embellishments and of course you know there's the wood glue it just gives it it's like embossed it just gives it a little extra something and makes it pop and I just I am you know you guys know how I am with the wood glue so you're gonna see it quite a bit throughout here and those just go in there and then on the one side I'll move it over um, has just got a little tuck spot with one of her little um, ephemera pieces and it's a spring butterfly and then it's just got two little tags in here and this one of course is all um, done with the wood glue on the flowers and on this and again it just makes it pop it just gives it a little extra something and those go in there and then on this side I created a little belly band um, again another one of the butterflies that um, does have the wood glue on it just to um, give it some texture and make it pop and then there's just two little um, ephemera pieces or tags or whatever you want to use them for and on the sides and that's the front and then this closes back up these two tie together and then let's get this the right way oh and I pulled it too far hold on now I can't even make a bowl I never made a bow before. Wow, I can't even make a bow. There we go. And that's the front. And then I'm going to turn it over and show you the back real quick because that's another thing I added. I also added um, a pocket on the back. And this is done with another one of the strips of paper from one of her um, digital kits and some more of these butterflies with the wood glue and some some brads in the colors that are in here the green the purple and the orangish red are all in this picture so I put them in here and this is kind of a new way um, that I did to make this pocket that I thought was really cool these you actually can't feel them on the back they're in between the paper as well as the fabric I might have to come on and show you guys how I did that because I really like this idea of how to make this pocket and so that when you put things in and out of here there's nothing in the way and it's quite sturdy right here so it's just a little extra pocket on the back and then I'm going to show you really close the sides and then on the inside front here on the other side there's another piece with the wood glue and that's what holds my my um jute i took another piece of fabric and my machine actually does cool lettering and everything so i put the word inspiration um because uh, her, dig her digis really inspire me when i work with them so this was definitely just um I had so much fun making this and then there's two little butterflies on each side so I thought that was just really pretty to add in the top there and then the third thing I did to kind of make it my own is while I was constructing it I put these two little tabs in here um, to hold a pen I thought it would be a nice place to hold a pen without having to stick it down in one of your pockets so I just thought it would be really nice to have something already on there that you can just stick your pen right there and it goes right in so that was the third thing I did so those were the three things I did that made it a little bit my own so I'm gonna go ahead and go through the pockets and pull out the different things and and show you them and then I will show you what my inside pages look like so in the first pocket you're just going to find um, some envelopes that have been embellished with different um, papers and 
uh, stuff from her, from again, from her digis. This is the nature snippets here. I'm not quite sure what this one is. It's just a piece of one of them. Some are paper and some I did on the 110 cardstock. And then just put this as a piece of a uh, vintage doily. And then on the front, again, the nature snippets. I love this paper. And then one of her tea cards, her butterfly tea cards. And again, you'll see wood glue there. And also on this little tag, it's on there as well. And I made a little pocket on the front. It's not on the inside of the envelope, it's just on the front. So I put a little pocket there. And then I don't think I put anything in here. Nope, not in that one. And then here's another one and another beautiful uh, dragonfly and a little um, mushroom. And that's also uh, wood glued. So I'm just going to call them embossed because that's what they look like to me is like they're embossed with the wood glue another piece of the nature snippets and just some vintage um i think this was a vintage um like a uh, cloth napkin for a table and then just a few little embellishments on the back and then inside i did put a piece of paper on the inside of the envelope and then just a few of her tags Again, from one of her other kits. And then this last one, I actually embossed um, with an embossing folder the envelope. And then distressed it. And then on the front, put some more of her papers. And this beautiful, um, this is the Flutterby um, Fussy Cut Butterflies. And that one's all done in wood glue as well. And just put that right on the front. And then I don't, and then just inside there's just a like a little piece of paper for like a corner of a page. So that's that one. So that's the first pocket. And then I made, and each pocket I put stuff in each pocket. Oh, I want to leave this stuff out so I can show you um, the pages. And these are just little um, file folder pockets. And this is the Flutter Bee. Flutter by Flutter Bee paper. Love this one too. Beautiful. Love the butterflies and stuff. And yes, it's okay if it's upside down. I kind of like it that way. And then it's got a little tab. And inside this one, oh, I want to show you this one second. So, in, and then here's the other one. And this one again, done with the wood glue. Uh, more of her ephemera pieces. And on the back, I left it plain. Love that picture. And then another little tab right here. So inside this one is just some of um, more of the nature snippets, and these are just paper. I, I left these, I think I did these on tea dyed paper, and then put these little embellished pieces on them. And again, they're done with the wood glue, and it just makes it, it just makes it to me. I don't know why. It just adds so much to it. And then I just stitched those on with a zigzag stitch, and under there is a bug, and under there is a butterfly. So those go in here. And you guys know how I'm always trying to make different things. So I was trying to come up with a different kind of an envelope, um, but not really an envelope. And again, it's all embellished with her papers. And look at that bug. I just think that's such a cool looking bug. And I'm not a bug fan, but I like the bugs on these papers. Again, more of the nature snippet papers and a uh, piece of lace and just some a little bit embellished pieces. And I did do um, two brads with the tie. And I made this whole thing out of um, a file folder. So I just kind of designed the shape, kind of like an envelope, but it doesn't have sides. See how it's got the, I like that. And then inside I made a little pocket and did this part with um, one of my dies and then it's got two more little tags in it that are also um, done with the wood glue. And I just think they're so pretty and they go in there. And then embellished it some more on here. And this just has some muslin and some different, a piece of lace and a little piece of cloth just to give it a little bit of something. And I know it's hard to see all of that. And then you just fold it over and it closes up. So fairly, uh, I thought it was really cool. I'm always trying to come up with new ways to make little pockets and stuff like that. So that's that one. And that goes inside. 
this one. This one. Oh, it goes inside this one. Oh, I also stuck um, a little uh, one of her um, seed pack seed pack cards, which those are so cool. And I just cut a little slit in it and made it so a tag could go right in the front. And that's in there as well. So you're going to see all of her, so many of her kits, different pieces from her kits in here. So that's that pocket. And then we have the little flip out which I really love. <laughs> um, uh, this paper, I believe, also comes with the Nature Snippets. Um, and I did take this one, and I completely wood glued it as well. And I just think it, I don't know, it just makes it look so cool. And it's all stitched. And then you open it. And on one side, I made a pocket. And again, done with the wood glue. And then I decorated the back with some of the nature snippets paper some of her ephemera and word and then made two little tags love the colors on here and just put little pieces of ephemera again you'll find more wood glue on each just to make it pop a little bit and then some muslin for um, the tops of the tags and then on this side you think it's a tag that comes out but it doesn't this is adhered uh, with this and I made this, you guys all know how to do that. Just fold it over as you're putting it through the sewing machine. And I just put a thin piece of crochet lace on top of that beautiful green. Because these are the colors that you see on the front and stuff of the uh, attache. Um, another one of her beautiful papers. And then there's a tag in the back. And this, I believe, is from Vivid Nature as well. Um, and then this one. Which this one is, is this, this might be Nature Snippets. It's so hard to remember them all because I use so many. So that one's got two pockets. And then again, it's just embellished. Again with the butterfly. And then you open it like this. And on these two pages, I didn't make pockets because it's already so full. And I have such a habit of going overboard. <laughs> I wanted this to still close. So I just embellished with wood glue and her beautiful papers. And this is her um, fussy cut florals. I don't know what it's called, but it's one that you can fussy cut all the florals out of. And then put a piece of lace behind it. And that's my extreme fussy cutting because notice there's no white on there. <laughs> and then this side I did the flower, which just think it looks so pretty. There we go. Now you can see it. If I bring it closer, you can probably see. And then the butterfly as well. And put a little bitty bingo card and the word botanical on one of her little plate pieces. And then on this side, there's a big pocket. With some of her tags, again, embellished, uh, embellished, done with the wood glue. It is embellished. I did embellish them. This one, that uh, beautiful moth, and this one, the beautiful flowers. So let's see if I pull it up, if you can see. You can just see how it looks like it's on top of the paper, but it's not. It looks like something was put on top of the paper, but I don't know. It just gives it a, a 3D for sure and just makes it pop. And those go in there. And then I did this beautiful flower the same way. And if I pull it up, you can probably see it. There you go. And then added a butterfly and one of her labels. And then right here is a little, um, I don't know what she called it. It's just you put little papers in here and you can write and stuff in it. Again, something I added and changed a little bit is I made this a pocket so that you could put a tag inside. And I made this with one of her bingo cards, that little bees embossed and the butterfly and the little flower and just kind of collaged. And there's a piece of her paper and a little piece of lace. Um, and then this beautiful moth is all um, in, uh, done with the wood glue too. But see how it just stands out on there and almost looks like it's a sticker that was placed on there. And then I made it, I made it so it would be a pocket. You could stick that tag down in there. And then it opens and I also made a little spot here with a belly band to put an envelope in. Another one of her 
Digikits. I'm not quite sure what this one's called. Love it. Love the colors on it. Um, but I left it blank so that you could do whatever you wanted to the inside. Um, you can put something in there or um, right inside there. And then it just tucks right in there. And then, of course, you have your papers. I just kind of mixed um, all different papers together. Beautiful floral image. Uh, book page. A lot of this stuff is vintage papers. Um, these, This is stuff that I've gotten from uh, Patty Wing, of course. This one. This is definitely vintage. <laughs> old, old paper. Um, some more florals. Some more writing paper. More florals. Writing paper. And then I thought this was really cool. It's just three different pictures of that that type of cactus flower and then more writing paper and then this actually can come out and then you have another pocket and yes this um, dragonfly is done the same way um, with the wood glue and it just makes it stand out so I really I really like that so that goes back in there let's see if I can get there we go and then this just closes up. And voila. And I love it. So that's that. I'm saving the best for last. <laughs> Let's see what's in the next pocket. Oh, I think we're at the last. First, um, there is a journal that comes in here. And I, I actually made two covers. So I put the extra cover inside here. And um, this is done with a fabric and one of her beautiful papers and just, oh, that bent. I don't like that. All right, a little piece of paper and some little strings and a word. And then it's all, um, there's a couple layers here and it's just um, stitched on here. And then that's the inside. So that's just an extra journal cover. So we're going to pull that out and then we will get to the journal. Oh my goodness. And here's the other one. And again, um, layered up a bunch of her, pa her papers. Um, there's a vintage doily in here, some vintage book pages, another one of her beautiful butterflies that's been done with the wood glue. And then a piece of lace on here. And this is done with a muslin. And I really like the way the tur it turned out. And I did distress it a little bit. And this is just plain on the back. So I really like that. And then you open it. Pocket here. Here's some more of her. This is the um, paper that came with the, the kit. This is the Vivid uh, Nature Snippets. And then I printed these on tea dyed paper. And then you have some writing paper. And... I added quite a bit to my journal, probably more than I should have. That's probably why my thing is so fat. Um, this is just an envelope. I didn't glue it. I left it so that you can write on it or put things in it. And it's just paper clipped right on here. And then just, oh, oh no, that goes there. Different papers. And uh, this is another one of her papers. Love this dragonfly. And I just stuck a bingo card and put a little butterfly up there. And this is just like a little tuck spot. More of her gorgeous papers. This was done on a darker. Um, I'm going to pull this in a little bit so you guys can see this a little better. A little bit darker tea dyed paper. And then these are some vintage. This is, uh, oh my gosh. Now I know who this is. And now because I want to say it. I'm not going to think of who this is, but I know you guys know who that is. These are these are um, papers from Patty. And this is a little tuck spot that I um, stuck one of her beautiful tags in. So the other papers you see in here, these will be vintage book pages and all things that I purchased from Patty. And then on this one, I just took a beautiful butterfly that I stamped on paper and then used watercolor. So I'll pull it up so you can see it. And this one flips out. And on this side, I made a little belly band. All the um, butterflies and dragonflies and bugs on here are all done with the wood glue, as well as on this beautiful card. Um, love that flower. 
And that just goes right in there. And then up here, I took some lace and put a piece of, um, this is the Flutterby paper on here. More of a beautiful paper. Look at that dragonfly, isn't it beautiful? And then on this side, you'll find a pocket. This is from Vivid Nature, I believe. There's the other side of that paper. And then this beautiful bee, which, yes, they have been wood glued as well, and they just pop right off of this little card. And then this has just got one of those little clips on it. Oh, my phone just went, everything just went crazy. Like someone just went on. More of the beautiful paper. Again, another stamp that I did on a piece of vintage book paper, just to give the page a little bit of something. And then this is the center. Love that picture. Uh, another one of her beautiful uh, tags from, I believe, Vivid Nature. And then you open it, and there is a little poem in here, which I think is really pretty. And then on the other side, I just put a little lace up here. And then this side has another pocket right here that you could put a tag in. Again, another one of the um, pieces of paper with the lace. Love those pictures. And again, another envelope on here. Same as the other one, so I'm not going to take it off. And the lace again with the paper. A little tuck spot over here. Look at that dragonfly. That one's so cool looking. Another pocket. And then this one I stuck um, a little envelope with a little circle and the butterfly. And again, this one isn't um, closed. Let's see if I can get this all back together now. Because these clips are really tight. Alright, I got it on here the first time. Let's see if I can get it back on here. Come on. Alright, there we go. And then this side has a tuck spot. And then another piece of paper. Love this one. Isn't that beautiful? And again, all done with the wood glue and the paper clip. And then this one has a side pocket. Look at the wings on that. I just, it, it just, to me, it just does something to the pictures. I just absolutely love it. As you can tell, I went crazy with the wood glue. Another one of my stamped images on the vintage book paper. A uh, little tuck spot over here with some um, embellishments. And then a pocket in the back. And that is the journal that goes in the attache. And then, of course, I made um, in the center here where the center is. I left these long enough so that I could hang some dangles from them. And I just put some browns and some leaves on there. Some It's almost like a rusty orange color. And those just hang. I like everything to hang out. So that's that. So that's the journal part. So then um, I did all my tabs with just different um, pieces of trim and lace and just the different colors that I thought it just matched the colors on this top paper so well. But if you look inside both sides, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you this, you will see the beautiful papers in here. And they there's papers on both sides. Um, one side is book pages, and one side is her beautiful papers. So that's the inside. And then, um, I think that's it. And then I'll show you the dangle. So let me put this all back in here, the way it goes. So I have something in every pocket, because <laughs> that's just me. And that's probably why this thing is so fat. All right. And then we'll close it up. And then I I, I wanted a dangle on mine. So, of course, I used um, one of my eyelets and this beautiful, um, I don't even know, this is like a keychain clip of sorts. 
and this beautiful uh, thing. Let me take. Let me see if I can take this off here, so I can show it to you. So hold on one sec. You gotta find out which side opens. This was a lot easier to get on than it's gonna be for me to get off. I'm sure, because I don't know what side unclips. There we go. All right. So this is the beautiful dangle that I made to go on here. And I just think it matches perfectly. And I made, oops, one, one short one. Oh, got me. I'm telling you, my hair gets caught in everything lately. One short one and one long one. I just wanted to give a little bit more at the top. And on the short one, there's some beautiful leaves and this beautiful dragonfly that I made. And then just all different little beads that I made and greens and the browns. And this has a butterfly on it. I don't know if you can see that. And then this leaf. And just the beads with the flowers and stuff in them. And then, yeah, just all different kinds of beads on here. And then another leaf. And I did that with alcohol ink. And then it says, uh, made with love. And then at the end, I added on this beautiful butterfly. That was actually, let's see if I can get this up here so I can show you. Let me find a little white piece of paper or something white. Hold on one sec. Of course, when you want white paper, there's none around. All right, so let's see if I can pull this up and show you without dropping it off. So this butterfly was actually silver, and I did it in multicolors in, um, what is this color? Current and purple and blue, and then I added um, some little rhinestones to it. And then on the back, it's colored as well in three different colors. And I just thought it was really pretty because there's so many butterflies throughout this whole thing. And all these colors are inside this attache. So um, that is the dangle. I didn't want it a chunky one. I just wanted like a single strand with some beads hanging from it. And I just thought it needed that little bit extra um, for the attache because that's just me. You know, I always have to add more. So that is my um, attache. Hope you guys like it. I had so much fun making this. Um, thank you again, Tracy. It was a wonderful teachable. Now, if I can remember how I got this in here, it'd be great because it's not meant. I mean, you can take it off, but it's not meant to come off. So I'll have to figure There we go. Really simple, or if you do it right. Um... I just thought it looked so pretty hanging down the side. So, um, if you haven't or you want to make this, uh, her prices are really reasonable. This was a great price to make this. Um, her, I, I love absolutely everything she makes, and I just can't keep up with her. But uh, I hope you guys like this, Tracy. I hope you like this. Uh, it is for sale, you guys. I will list it in the description box below. If you are interested, you can email me, which you can also find that um, listed below, and I will keep an eye on it. So I had so much fun making this. I hope she comes out with another one because I would like to make another one and showcase more of her um, gorgeous papers. And she's just very inspiring, and I just absolutely love all of her stuff. So, um Again, I'm so happy to have it done. I absolutely love the way it turned out. Like I said, I generally shock myself by the time I'm done with a project, and I did on this one as well. So I absolutely love it, and uh, I hope you guys um, go check it out and give it a try. Like I said, all the links and stuff will be listed below. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and sorry this took so long to get out to you, but um, have a great weekend, and don't forget to get out there and create something, and I will see you all soon. Bye for now.